so I'm back in the city. <laughs> right, so I'm back in the city. I'm sharing the through night TI five I. TI five I is the titanium pin light. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But I'm back in the city. Alright, so I'm excited to talk to you guys about the new flashlight that I got. If you guys can see that. You can see there the TI5 T. It comes in this nifty tin. I really like the flashlight, so I'll show you. Here's the instruction manuals, all that good stuff. And there's the, the light itself, which has a pocket clip. It's like that. It's a beautiful flashlight. It's got the pocket clip and everything. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually inspired by the tin that it came in. So I'm going to take this tin and turn it into a survival kit. Take it out on my next adventure. Alright, so let's get that started. Got the TI-5 T pen light. Just like that. So, so here's the, the flashlight. I'm just going to set that to the side. And I've got a uh, instruction manuals let's see if there's some good facts in here it says uh, it's 130 lumens max it's a uh, maximum 120 hours on low and yeah it's a you know your standard one triple a battery and yeah it's a great little light it's not my first through night You guys are into those super bright. So this, you can see, there's the medium, there's the high. So the low, you can see it's on there, but at night in a tent is when this is, this is really the best. So when you've been asleep, this one won't kill your night vision. Um, it kind of does away with the need for red. So I don't know, you guys can barely see that. Then. We got medium and high. And then there's strobe on the second go round through. And then I believe if I, if I unscrew it just a little bit in the front here, it won't come on at all. So if I screw it back, there, it works again. So it's super bright. Man, that's just the <laughs> you know, you don't want to shine that directly in your eyes, especially with a fresh battery. Anyway, I'm going to get started. This is a flashlight, and I've got the, the packaging here. I'm going to take that packaging out. And then I've got a few things here that are pretty cool. I've got this pocket monkey tool right there. That's... I'm going to stick that in the bottom, fits nicely in there, and then I have uh, a couple of hard candies, the Ricolas, there it is, got one magnifying glass, there we go. This is a milkweed ovum from the pod. This catches a spark, a cold spark pretty easy from a, you know, just a hard piece of stone like chert or flint or quartz. You know, you can do a spark with a piece of carbon steel and that'll catch it. Also, you can make some, some char material and uh, I also have a little collection that I've been collecting 
And this tin got a piece of, of quartz. Some chert and some flint. So there's a nice piece of flint. I'm just gonna not I'm not gonna take my most favorite piece out of here. Take a well used piece. And then I have some of this this jute also. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that jute in there. Get this little bushcraft knife out. So I'm just gonna take this uh took my bushcraft knife out. You guys haven't seen this one in a long time. There it is. A little scandy grind on there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this jute. You know, enough to start a couple of fires. There's one. I've practiced and I only use a tiny bit of jute at a time. These pre-cut pieces are pretty handy once you get out in the wilderness. You don't have to cut them. So I'm going to put four pieces and that can get me two to four fires. Just depending on the conditions of the tinder in the area. There's some of my collection there. So put that jute in there, piece of flint. doesn't break as easily. It's nice to get a little wax on your blade also. So now I have an emergency candle. Make sure my flashlight fits. Alright, so I'm just going to show you how these guys work. This is one of my little survival straws. This is a good tip if you haven't seen it before, but you just basically take a drinking straw. These are from Ikea. So So this is what I have. I'll trim that up. So it's just a trick candle. It keeps relighting itself. It's one of my favorite things to put in these. Then I have three matches. And these can be split in half. And I've showed I've shown that on other videos. So that can be up to six six matches. And then I just take a drinking straw. And these are from IKEA. Or just find them at a party store. It's a little bit bigger. That's what you're going to want. And then, you know, you just you put what you want to put in there. Try not to drop it on the floor. Went all the way to the floor and then into a crack. I got it. So I've got three matches, paper matches from a book, which for me with practice, they equal six fires. I have the striking surface. You guys can see that. The striking surface there. And just shove that in. You can do that this with just about anything you want to keep dry and make 
sure everything fits nicely. Then all you're going to do is take the ends. You can squeeze them with your fingers, squash it with a knife, however you want to do it. And just seal that up. And that's how I would do it when if I was on the trail. And if I didn't have my leather man or a fancy pair of pliers. There you go, sealed back up. Put that in your kit. Some extra ways to start a fire. This even this extra nub of candle. Looks like it'll fit in there. And then So I have these obviously new batteries. <laughs> I labeled them new, so I'm gonna put in there. Just to make them fit, I'll take them apart. So there's one in the flashlight and then three backups, all within this kit. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember in the other videos, but this is one of my teeny tiny fishing kits. That's in there also. If you guys want to see what's in my teeny tiny fishing kit, let me know. Let's see if I can make all this stuff fit. Let's see, maybe the extra candle nub is out. There we go. A little bit better. And uh, I'll get a piece of chaga and include in there. And then this little sleeve, you can use that as a fire starter also. And there you have it, that's my through night bug out survival kit. It's uh, it's pretty fun. That's it. So you can throw that in your pack, throw that in your pocket. You can start some fires with it. It's got the little multi-tool knife inside. And uh, I always have a piece of steel, carbon steel, a good bushcraft knife. And, you know, I can use that to, to strike with. You know, so anyway, there you have it. So that's that, the Through Night TI 5T Compact uh, Pin Light. It's a compact, so it's one AAA battery, not two. Uh, I have another pin light that I've used on some of my hikes, on one of my really nice hikes, that was uh, the regular pin light. And then I liked it so much, I got the, the smaller one. Let's see, what was the. Uh... Then we got the, uh, the TI HI for Missy. And the TI-3, because they clip on the hat. And I always keep my hat in the back pocket, so those are really handy. I always have my hat there. So that's an instant headlamp. And, I, you know, I just really like these guys. All right. So don't forget to like and subscribe, Wilderness Rocks. And we try to put out a video at least once a week, twice a week. It's what we aim for, and we're going to try to step that up. Um, we'll see in the, the immediate future if we're up for the challenge, the, the vlog every day in April challenge. We'll see. Um, all right. Catch you next time. All right, guys, if you like this kit, you know, leave me a comment down below. And if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. Also... If you make your own kit out of a through night flashlight tin, let me know and send me a link to the video and uh, give me a shout out. So anyway, through night survival tin, pin light, freaking awesome 
through my TI-5 compact pin light. It's the, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool light. It's got the titanium, the titanium coloration, and now it's got the cool bug out survival, you know, emergency, backpacking, bushcraft kit, all, all of that all in one. So anyway, check it out. There you go. Go outside, go do something. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and see you in the comments. Get outside and go do something.